Hi, I'm Latika Tukral. I'm a co-founder of I Am Gurgaon. Uh, we've been using waste to make features in our projects. Uh, we started in a small way with one of our first projects called Chakrapur Wazirabad Band. As we started working on the pathway, we realized that we were buying broken bricks to put under for the foundation. And that got us thinking that why are we not using construction debris thrown around the city? Then this excitement took over and we have been using waste in all our projects, which are something like five or six for now. We were like hawks in the city. Wherever we found any material which could be of use to us that came to our site. We were so fortunate to work with architects like Nidhi Madan, who was so, so excited about using waste. Whatever waste came her way, she turned it around. We found waste everywhere. It started with this site. There was so much waste. We found concrete debris, concrete cubes from cube tests and construction. We found uh, broken stones, broken tiles. Larger pieces of stone that we found became the building blocks of the seat wall. We created a sandwich to create a larger, thicker section that would be easy to maintain. Created an edge so it wouldn't break. We also experimented with using the broken tiles on the seat walls. And then we used uh, the smaller pieces with different colours to create a pattern within. We left it to the uh, skilled labour to set it up and they really got into it and had fun with the different colours that created this dynamic pattern uh, that gave it a little bit of a whimsy in an otherwise very rigid uh, seat. We use the broken uh, tile in different combinations of colours and patterns and textures and different cut angles to create the paving band that ran all the way through the site. This is a gabion wall. It's typically made out of wire frame and filled with stone. Here we used old tree guards to create the framing and uh, a mesh to uh, close seal it off and then we filled it with the waste concrete and waste brick and stone and whatever we found on site. One of the huge challenges was actually finding people who would work with old waste. We went through 30 teams of welders before we found one that would actually uh, work on it and try to achieve what we were trying to do with waste and create the gabion walls. The project Bachapur Forest Corridor is an example of how the waste can be used in, in multiple ways. Uh, and then this journey continued with other architects also like Raghwan, Kavita Jain, who have taken all these materials, any kind of waste materials to use in projects like Sikandapur Forest Corridor, Ghata Band, and who took this journey to the next level. So this area was a construction debris dump yard and these five pipes were lying there. So we were wondering what to do with them. These pipes were in very bad shape, so we decided to give it a function and a purpose. So the land above, was, there was a lot of erosion taking place, so we used the pipes as a retaining structure, refurbished the edges, and what you get finally is a cozy seating dish within a pipe with an expansive view of the greens. Actually, we should do a precise calculation on how much waste has been used in all our projects. But if I were to just take a guesstimate, I would think that 1,000 truckloads of waste would have been used in our projects, of which 500 would be this construction debris. So the design process involved sorting out from the, all the construction debris that was lying on the site, and that informed our design decisions. So like the smaller pieces, we used it under the pathway, slightly bigger pieces we used it as edging. If you see the walls here, they're all made of mulba. And the very large pieces, we used it as breakers uh, of rainwater. There is a particular place we even used it to make a waterfall. So the users were varied, uh, depending on the context that it was used for. This was an abandoned column piece that we found on the side, which had a broken edge. So we matched that broken edge with stone lying in the site to make it into a trapezoidal form and integrated it into a composite seat. We 
came across this uh, malba slope here and it was framed by these two lovely people trees so in fact we transformed the space removed all the malwa and actually used the stones from the site which was an abandoned quarry so you can see the transformation spatially of a malwa filled site into a beautiful seating this tree over here it was perched in a very precarious position you can see this cliff it was just like that like a straight cliff and any time it would have fallen down so what we did is we used these discarded sacks in which potatoes and onions get transported we filled these sacks with soil and created this mound you know and then we planted these native grasses over here so now we can see that the tree has got a new lease of life as well as it is teeming with life this whole place filled with grasses you know when you start using waste you just get addicted to it there is no stopping everybody who is working with you also starts looking out for materials whether it is your contractor your architect government officials you are working with people start giving you materials people start getting involved with you and we also realize that the cost of the project comes down by 30% Uh, the way we have used waste in five of our projects clearly demonstrates that it is replicable but it is also environment friendly if this waste was not used in one of our projects i am sure it would have been lying around in the forest area or choking some of the drains and polluting the city today we feel great about getting an opportunity to use waste in all our projects our corporates our uh, administration has allowed us this use of waste and uh, it just feels great to be able to do that we can either choose to send all the waste we find to landfills or we can choose to create places like this for everyone in the city